Good. Um, fifth, fifth thesis. Um, so my family have been, as far as I know, for hundreds of years, we've all been interbreeding with people uh. from, the, from within a hundred miles or so of the same little village in Scotland, even though we've been in Canada for a long time. And what you're telling me is this isn't a very good idea. <laughs> Expand on I, that. I have, uh, <clears throat> I have one phrase that summarizes this problem, yeah. and that is the British royal family. Okay. I, another example of this would be actually be Charles Darwin's family. He married his first cousin. A uh, sister of his also married her first cousin. Um, so the Darwins and the Wedgwoods were interbreeding for generations, but most people don't know about that. What a fair number of people have heard about is the interrelatedness of the royalty of Europe, in yeah. fact, yeah. of which the British royal family is, of course, the most durable example. So, you know, when Queen Elizabeth II married Prince Philip, she was, of course, marrying a cousin of hers. Yes. Because essentially all of the European royalty were totally interbred. So, what do you get? Well, uh, at the extreme end of things, you get hemophilia, uh, an ugly uh, blood disorder that's inherited that had a catastrophic effect on uh, European history. Trivially, you have Prince Charles's huge ears and, uh, you know, social awkwardness. Um, it goes on and on. Um, a small population size natural selection becomes less powerful. Uh, the, the simple word for this is inbreeding, a word that people use in everyday language and the people, a word that evolutionary biologists use. Medical geneticists know very well that some really horrible diseases like Tay-Sachs disease yes. are most likely to occur when you have people from the same ethnic background mating with each other and especially if they do this generation after generation after generation, as was the case amongst the Ashkenazi Jews kept in their ghettos by religious and ethnic prejudice in Europe for a thousand years or more. Yes. Yes. Um, that gives rise to an increased frequency of devastating medical disorders that arise specifically from the impairment of the effectiveness of natural selection. Conversely, you can say the single best thing you can do for your offspring is to not marry within your ethnic group. Well, that's good news for me because my son, total Scots, has married a delightful Korean girl. So um, spectacular. Couldn't be, couldn't be better.